Hi, it's Marianne with a scrapbooking process video using Studio Calico April 2014 kit and the Bessie add-on. I am down to scraps in this kit. I'm really desperately trying to kill this kit. It, I already have the May kit sitting here and it's June reveal time. So I really just want to use up all the pattern paper in this kit and then move on. So I took the, the bigger scraps that coordinated with each other and just layered them up and I actually really liked the way that looked. I don't have a piece of white cardstock left in the kit but there was a navy pattern paper that the flip side was um, a white piece. It has a very very faint pattern on it. You can't really see it on camera. It's very faint so it's like using a piece of white cardstock. So I'm just going to layer up my papers. I'm not really concerned with saving every little bit of pattern paper in this kit. I really just want to use it and be done with it. So I kind of like the way it looks just layered on top of each other like that. I don't really have an idea for this um, layout. So I thought maybe the page could use some black because the colors are so um, vibrant. So sometimes if you have the vibrant colors with the white, a little pop of black really makes the page pop. So I decided I'm going to use some black and my idea was to, well first I thought I was going to ink the edges, maybe that instead of um, a black border, but it didn't really have the same effect. So I decide I'm going to punch a border using black paper. I just cut down that big orange scrap so that it's not, um, I think I cut it to eight inches, so it's two pieces of um, eight inches and I'm going to spread them underneath the other patterns. So I'm in search of a certain border punch that must be on the bottom of all my other punches. It's the Martha Stewart loopy punch. There it is. That's the one I really wanted to use. So I'm going to take my 8.5 by 11 piece of black cardstock there and I'm just going to cut two 2 inch strips and I'm going to use that as my border. So I need to flip the border punches over in order to punch them to get a continuous flow going. I know I've seen other scrapbookers just put the paper under there and punch away and it all comes out nicely but it, that just doesn't work out for me. I don't know I guess I'm missing the point but that's the way it works. I just need to line it up, flip it over and then punch it that way. This punch makes kind of a mess with the little leftovers especially in black cardstock. So I'm just gonna see where I want to put that in with all my layers. I don't really have another idea for this page. I'm just kind of winging it. And I think I have two other layouts with the paper put aside already and then this kit will be done. So hopefully sometime this week I will have time to sit down and make a few more pages and then I'll be done with this kit. So I really just um, am looking forward to meeting my goal of killing this kit. I normally um, don't kill a kit. I have years worth of kits just sitting here that when I see a certain photo or a certain challenge I'm like oh I know exactly what kit I'm going to use. But I decided that I need to stop doing that because I'm getting really overloaded. So there's the flip side of that paper, that navy, that I'm not going to use. So I was going to ink the edges. I didn't like the way that looked, so I decided to outline them. And the outline was a little faint. I don't know if I need a new zig marker or whatever, so I'm going to end up doubling and making two and three lines when I go to outline. And so then I thought maybe I might want a, a thick line. So I'm going to test that out in a second. I'm going to flip that over. Yeah, that was too, too much. So I'm just going to make another line and outline it. It just adds a certain something. 
to the papers. I just really like the way outlining looks. I don't do it to every layout, but it just when it when I think of it and I think it, it looks good, I add it. And there's that very pretty floral. So I think I'm going to use the black punched borders after all that hard work. And then I, of course, don't end up using them. I use a tiny bit, and then I kept the rest. I'll probably, probably put it on a card since it's all punched around, around already. So I don't really know how this um, page is going to end up, so I'm just kind of cutting here and there and seeing how I'm going to like the layers to look. I do like this color combination and after I'd put all the scraps together I went looking for a photo to use and I had one on my phone of me and my girlfriends out to dinner last August so I printed it out with my selfie. I fixed it in Photoshop a little bit to the best of my ability. I'm not really good with the Photoshop but I can use it the basics. I can do the basics and that's really all I'm interested in doing. I'm not, I don't do um, digital scrapbooking and I don't really edit my photos to any degree. I mainly use Photoshop for my, f to um, edit and upload my finished layouts. So I'm trying to make those borders work. So there's my photo that I printed and now I want to outline um, my photo mat but I guess it's however the selfie prints out when I go to outline it my hand won't glide across the photo so I just needed to cover it with a piece of cardstock so that my hand could glide to do the outlining so there those are all the pieces that I'm going to use on this layout and I'm just trying to arrange the way I might like those borders but I'm not really crazy about every time I put it down I just don't really like the way it looks. So I'm just going to fiddle with that for a few minutes. And then I'm going to get tired of fiddling around and I'm just going to, yep, start gluing in a second. So there. Now I decided I'm going to use that little piece just at the edge of the smallest scrap. And then that one kind of cut weird cut off like a loop in the middle and looks strange so I just used the other border and that one looked better. So there. That's going to be what my page looks like. And now I'm going through the embellishments that came with the kit and I'm just going to pull out a few things that I think are going to work with this. I have um, in the Bessie add-on by Basic Gray, the Highline Collection. We had um, um, a package of chipboard. So uh, it's now just in a little baggie there. I took it off the cardboard it comes in. And I'm going to use the ampersand in that hot pink that I was trying to use the last layout. And I'm just seeing what might work. So I'm just pulling out a few pieces because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet for this page. But I definitely know I'm going to use the ampersand. So um, right around here, my camera battery is going to die. I didn't realize it was so low. But it's going to die. I'm going to recharge it while I make dinner. And then it's not going to recharge enough. So there isn't going to be too much more going on with this layout. Once I lay it all out and put on a title... That's really going to be it because my camera battery died. So I'm ready to glue. Just going to tape down everything with my ATG. And really, it's just a, a quick and simple page. Nothing fancy, nothing earth shattering, but I used up the paper that I wanted to use and I used some embellishments from the kit and they all coordinated. And I'm really happy with this page in the end. So I'm going to use the ampersand there and then I went to look for um, some sticker letters. So I decided on these black foam letters by Amy, Amy Tangerine, which I really love these. So I'm just going to lay it out and I'm going to have a little trouble because the letters are black and my punched border is black. So I'm just going to lift it up to where I like it and then I'm going to kind of angle it and angle the ampersand and that's my title.
that's it. Friends and fun. And that's really it. And then I'm just going to take a few of the chipboard pieces and lay them out. And I'm going to use some of the floral cabochons that came in the... I don't know if they came in the main kit or in the Bessie add-on. They might have come in the main kit. And that little heart um, piece of chipboard I'm going to use, it is a speech bubble, but I'm just going to snip off the edge of that and not use it as a, as a speech bubble. So I'm just trying to use some of the other card, the other chipboard. It's not really going to work, though. So in the end, I'm just going to go for really simple. And there's a little label sticker there that has a heart on it. So I decided I'm going to use that, except it, most of it is white, and then I laid it on the white cards, the white pattern paper, and it just didn't contrast enough. So I just laid it on the orange there. I'm going to put the date there. I'm just going to trim off the little speech bubble part and put it there. I've got three of the flower cabochons. And the only thing I did off camera, I added one um, Dear Lizzie puffy heart so that I had three hearts. And I added a little bit of Heidi Swap mist, color shine mist, some droplets. And then that's really the whole page. Yeah, my battery is probably going to die in a second. So there's my finished creation. I'm really happy with it. It was a quick and easy page. And 